Game Dev, Game Dev Journey. Hey everyone, it's Rob from Game Dev Journey. Happy Friday! It's the weekend, baby! Time for some indie devlogs, but first, a joke. Did you know that Sony is making a cat-friendly PlayStation? It's going to be called the PS... Pss, 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 pss. Like if you laughed, and subscribe for more jokes like this. And now, on to the devlogs! Farrelly has made a ton of progress on his game Jelly World. In one of his recent devlogs, he details how he's added a user-requested candy biome to the game, as well as a cooking system. Farrelly's devlogs are always entertaining. His audience has grown so much since I last visited. I doubt that any of you are not subscribed, but if you aren't, head over there and subscribe now. It's worth it. Andrew and Guacomo have grown their subscriber base significantly since I last visited, and progress on their beautifully animated game, Pinny and the Lost Voice, is progressing rapidly. One of the most requested things on their channel was a video explaining their animation workflow. So if you're an animator or want to learn more about animation and the process, this is a fantastic video for you. Go and join the Pinny Army by subscribing on their channel. Michael has changed his channel name to Marcella and has gained a lot of fans. His content is as entertaining as ever and there's lots to enjoy beyond just game development. However, he's still making progress on his indie game and in his latest devlog he asks the most important question of all. Is my game fun? If you want to know the answer, then head over there and join the legions of supporters that he already has. Good news everyone! Luke Kremers is back and is posting devlogs again. Yes, they're really funny and you'll wish that he had made more of these and released them more often. If you've not watched one of his videos before, do yourself a favor and head over there because these devlogs are fun, funny and informative. Luke deserves your subscription. Do it! Inferno is still working on future warfare and still posting regular devlogs updating us on his progress. This is someone who is genuinely invested in their project and is running on the fuel of passion. If ever anyone deserved our support, it is Inferno. So head over there and subscribe. That's all for this week. Thanks for joining me and I hope to see you all again next time.